Hey there, dragons. I'm Morgan. And I'm Emily. Today is January 21st, and this is Dragon TV. Welcome to DTV. First up this week is a quiz. That's an awful way to start this. Well, you don't have to take the quiz. Oh, that sounds better. We asked some dragons some basic driver's ed questions. Let's see how they did. All right, okay. So, say y'all are driving on the interstate and y'all are going faster than most of the cars, what lane should you be in? What's the interstate? <laughs> You know, like, when you go to the hey, 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 you should be in the, the left lane, lane because the right lane is when you take to exit because if you're going that way, then you got to exit off the road because the exits are on the Or you can just right side of the you road. can just stay in the left lane and go really fast the whole time. So. It's, this sign. it's the Twin Towers, dude. It looks to me like something's merging. When you say Dalton, no, I said two, la two lanes are going into one. That's what this is. So say your car is in reverse and you turn your wheel right, which way is your car gonna go? The opposite, right? Well, it depends. Like, what do you mean? Like, which like we're going backwards? Rear Where's my rear end gonna go? If I turn the wheel right, the rear end is gonna go right. Sure. <laughs> when you're driving in fog, what kind of lights do you use? Fog lights. You have fog lights. What are fog lights, exactly? Fog lights. Next question. <laughs> Which way is your car gonna go? This way. <laughs> like, like, sorry. Like, it's gonna <laughs> left. It's gonna go left. No, it's gonna. Go. Wait, which way do you? The tail end is gonna start moving left. Right. It's gonna. Start so when it's foggy outside, what kind of lights do you use? Your fog lights. Low beams. Who has fog lights? Low beams. Low beams. Like your regular lights. I don't know who no, has fog lights. lights. No. The what does the sign mean? Merge. Merge. Yep. No. What? What do you mean? It's not merge. It's not merge? No. It's a straight line and a crooked line. Really? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Good observation, Morgan. No, it doesn't mean merge. Yeah, what does it mean then? It means the right line is going to be ending soon. Oh, I knew that. It's going to start moving wrong. But which and way, like your, the front your of the car? car which way oh, the gonna car face? is going to go left. Like the front Wait, of the car is going to turn left. The steering wheel but right. the back of the car. This is, what does this road sign mean? <laughs> oh, yield? Uh, did you say yield? It looked like it. <laughs> what is it then? The yield ramp is. No, wait, no. Off, says, on ramp, on ramp. <laughs> off ramp, I don't know. You are terrible. <laughs> you're backing up. You're gonna go this way. Yeah, you're gonna go like, left. But your car's gonna go. It's gonna go like this. But you're, if you, okay, if you're right here and you Cause turn whenever I pull out of my house, I go left. And then you Morgan. press on the gas, it's gonna go Morgan, this way. Morgan, if you put your car in reverse and go backwards, do you go left or right? And, uh, uh, if you turn, <laughs> what's the question? <laughs> it's left, bro. Now for this week's student spotlight. This week, we sit down with Grace Hughes and spotlight her artwork. Again, if you know of a student we should shine a spotlight on, please email Mr. Friesen. Let's see the spotlight for this week. Welcome to Student Spotlight. I'm Allie. And I'm Lexi. Today we interviewed senior Grace Hughes. Grace is an active member in base and president of the Redwater High School Art Club. Today we interviewed her. Let's see what she had to say. Welcome back to Student Spotlight. I'm Mally, and today we're interviewing Grace Hughes. So, how long have you been doing art? All my life. Uh, I started getting pretty serious this year though, because that's what I want to do after, yeah. So what do you want to do after high school? I plan to go to SAU and I'm stuck between something with design or animation. I've also thought about maybe becoming an art professor. So you're definitely going to go into art after high school? Yes. Great. So what is your favorite style of art? In my eyes, art is like music, dancing. So, I mean, I just, I just love all kinds of art. I think music is probably my favorite though because I don't know there's something it just connects us all mm -hmm. and, you know what kind of instruments do you play I play trumpet 
So through band, you feel like you can also continue your art through, but just another kind. Of yeah. Art. Uh, I, there's a lot of ways in band you can express yourself too, like mm -hmm. you know different competitions or you know. Tell us about bass and how long you've been doing it. I've been doing it since seventh grade. Um, I I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I've gotten best of show mm -hmm. both years, and then. Up until last year, I got all fours, and then obviously last year I got, you know, chosen for state. Um, but because of COVID, I wasn't able to go to San Antonio. So. So I don't think like everyone knows exactly what bass is. Can you kind of explain it to the viewers? It's a uh, pretty intense art competition. Um, I've been in a lot of art competitions, uh, but the rules are pretty strict. It's very. Uh, High level. Yes, very centered around the emotion and like the story behind the piece. So mm -hmm. if you plan on doing bass, you should really think about what your meaning is behind your piece before. Now for another episode of Grade versus Grade. Let's see who comes out champion this week. Roll it. Welcome to Grade vs. Grade. I'm your host, Valentine. Today, junior versus freshman will go head to head to see who knows most throwback songs. Let's meet our contestants. Welcome back to Grade vs. Grade. I'm your host, Valentine. Today, we have... We have junior, Drew Graves. Yeah. Sophomore, Casey Graves. What an You have to say the name and the, of the song person. and the artist. Oh, okay? There's only how many? Three, two. Oh, no, I love okay, this song. Okay, I love this movie by George Strait. Oh, hey, man. I did. Hey, Casey Graves is buzzed in. Oh my God. What is the song title? <laughs> Carrie and Your Love with Me by George Strait. Okay, two points for Casey. Junior is losing. <laughs> okay, second song. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I'm. Oh, yeah. I never heard this okay, song before. What song is it? She doesn't know. Oh, wait, Seven Summers Ago by Morgan Wallen. Correct. I've never listened to that song. I don't like Morgan Four Wallen. to Morgan zero. Morgan Wallen. Okay, this is going really fast. Because I thought he was going to, I don't know why I thought he was going to get it. Oh my gosh. I don't know the name of this Before song. Before he cheats by Carrie Underwood. Oh my gosh. This six. Is, she six. Stop. She only, I wasn't, I was saying six to zero. Oh my god. All she listens to is country music. This is not fair. Play it, bro. This is not my genre. Okay, y'all only have two. Feather <laughs> Indians. Dude, my talent childers. She said that before you even said a word. <laughs> every game day. Exactly. I listen to NLE Chop every game day. I knew the song, but she's she knew it before he said a word. <laughs> There's only one more, and Casey's gonna get it. Okay, well come on. Actually, hey, 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 no. Drew, look what you've done. Now I can't I scoot do crap. it back. You, I literally tried to hit play and you were like, Bleh! Okay. I think Casey should be allowed to buzz in for prostate. Okay, yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I never heard this song. Know that song. Mally, what is this? This is the hardest one. Oh! Don't nuzz it! I have never heard the song of my entire life. Don't oh! Don't you just say that? I, I got it! Gladstone Cowboy! I don't, I, know, I don't know. Glenn Campbell. Correct! I've never yes. Drew wins! Yes! Woo. Let's go! Okay. Let's go! No. So, Casey, how do you feel for your tremendous loss? Um, well, considering the fact that I won by seven points. Wait, how many points did he get? Two. Yeah. And, and you had, had, I had eight, eight, so I won by six. Um, I won. End of discussion. That's all, folks. It's a great day to be a dragon. Woo. And that was great versus great. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Up next, a story about Mountain Dew. We tried out every flavor of Mountain Dew available in Redwater and Texarkana. Let's see how they all stack up. Good myth. Nope. Good dragon morning, I'm Court. And I'm Logan, and today we're going to be identifying Mountain Dew by smell and taste. Let's talk about that. The game is, if we can get it by smell, we get two points. But if we can get it by taste, we get one point. Very simple. On the blindfold. If it would go off. Uh... <laughs> go off. 
Bye. The first cups <laughs> are coming in. Oh, Make sure it. you keep your eyes covered. Oh. Smell the cups. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to <gasps> think here. I don't want to. Uh, it's the pineapple one. Definitely. Uh, Maui burst. Maui burst. Okay. Same answer. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Logan, do you have yours yet? Right. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, first step. Smell it. Whoa. What? Whoa. What is that? Uh, that it's is uh, fruity to a new level. Liberty. Mm. Liberty. I'm going to go with oh. Ultron. I. Give it a taste. Liberty. No. Yeah, Liberty. Oh well. The answer is that is voltage. Oh, wait. So two points for Logan. My young boy fans grab their cups. <laughs> okay, this one has to be. Oh. Now I gotta remember the name of it. What the heck? You know, I thought I'd be good at this. I know what this one is. I think. Ah. Oh. I want court just guess. Try to guess it at the Liberty one. Yes. This is yeah, I'm gonna go with that one again. This is America. And the answer is Liberty Bird. No. Yes. No. Well, Logan has six. I'm yeah. losing. If I can dip my finger in it and tell which one it is, can I get extra points? Best code red. Huh? Best code red all day. Uh What's your guess, Logan? It's it's code red. <laughs> yeah, Stop red. copying I'm me. I'm sorry. The answer is I've had this way too many times. Code red. That's the orange one. That's the orange one. That has to be the orange one. I have no idea. I've what had this the is. orange one only one time, for reasons. What's your mystery? I guess. I guess it's, I'm getting my guess is mystery one. That is deep freeze. Oh, we're both wrong. Hey, that smells. Like, I've guessed orange like three times on my smell. Okay, this this is this is live uh, wire, right? Live wired yes. orange, and then now I'm okay, getting yes, live. Oh. That is Livewire. Yes. Oh, oh that's mystery. That's mystery. That's mystery. That's mystery. That's melted Skittles. Yes. flavor is mystery. Yes. I believe <laughs> that makes the winner Logan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Ah! Bye. <laughs> to finish up this week, here is the next episode of Hussein in the Membrane. What are they doing this week? You have to watch and see. Let's see it. Like me, it's going insane. Insane in the membrane. Back here with the Hussein. We're here to see who can answer the most trivia questions out of six. Loser has to get their legs waxed. What was Twitter's original name? How did he get it right? What's the answer? What's the answer? Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> Which European nation was said to invent hot dogs? What was the correct answer? Germany. He's so <laughs> What is your body's largest organ? <laughs> With what did the ancient Romans use to dye their hair? <gasps> what was the correct answer? Bird poop. <laughs> you guys are cherry poop. How did you know? <laughs> I'm just guessing. Stop the cow. <laughs> Logan, guys, the paper was on the ground though. Is this, is this the last one? I didn't one? look at the paper. Okay, yes, this is the last one. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Since Tariq wanted to be a cheater and know all the answers and did my boy Duad wrong, we're gonna have to do rock, paper, scissors to see who gets waxed. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Tariq wins! Oh my <laughs> goodness! So, since my boy Jawad kind of uh, sucks at trivia, he's getting his legs waxed right now. Yeah. Oh, three, three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. Three, two, three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> three, two, three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God.
sure, sure. Oh, it's still sticky part of me. <laughs> I have to finish it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. It's, it's a, a great, great day to be a dragon. Woo! We did it! Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm like, dude, I probably look. So I'm gonna say some basic driver's ed questions. Let's see how. No, I said that. <laughs> I said didn't no. stop. I, I didn't stop at the period. Yes. You did it. <laughs> I feel like I just look awkward. I just look so awkward. Can you tell me if I look awkward? Like, you're not helping. You look awkward. Oh. <laughs> I already know I look awkward. I'm just an awkward person. Again, if you don't. If, if, if you don't, the don't was nowhere in there. <laughs> don't mess don't, up. Don't, don't ask. Don't, 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 don't stutter. 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 <laughs> 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 you just don't stutter with two Ds.